Alright, what's up guys, it's Mark here from Techie Tutorials, bringing you yet another Sony Vegas Pro tutorial. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching our past tutorials. If you're a new viewer, welcome. If you're an old viewer, welcome also. Thank you for watching. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to censor or mask a moving object. And the example I'm going to be using is a car's license plate. Now obviously it's very important to mask a car's license plate if it is your own car. Um, so yeah, it's going to be very simple and we'll try and get this done, uh, you know, nice and simple and quick. Alright, so let's get into it and uh, yeah. Okay. So guys, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to duplicate the video track. So whatever track your video is on, you're going to right click and select duplicate. No, that's it, that's all. Okay. Now we're going to go to the top video track, the video on the top, and we're going to go into the event, the video event pan crop. Of course, if you can't see this button, you can right click and go into video event pan crop. Now we're going to move down here to the little mask box, see here at the bottom left. Tick that, and we've entered masking mode in the event pan crop. If you don't have this box, unfortunately, you can't do this uh, effect the way we're doing it. There are other ways, but unfortunately we're just doing it this way, so if you don't know that, I'm sorry, and there's no point watching the rest of the tutorial. So, what we're going to want to do is select the Anchor Creation Tool, this little pen here. Now, it's very simple to use. All we're going to do is click to make a box around the license plate. What we're going to want to do is make it a little bit bigger than the license plate, because uh, we just when you actually blur it, it won't be the full box, so we just need a little bit bigger, so remember that. Now, of course, this will work with any other object also. Now, what we're going to do is see down here at the, key, at the timeline, we're going to click and drag up until about here. Now, as you can see here, that the box, um, the masking box we put here, is kind of coming off the license plate, so we need to fix that. So, we're going to come up here and select the normal edit tool, click that, and simply drag the box over a bit. Of course, we're going to keep on coming up. Okay, coming up now here, move it over a bit, but now here you can see that this doesn't nearly cover the license plate. So what we need to do is shift and click on this point here, and we can also shift and click on the top point. These make these free to move. We can just click and drag them now to move them out, click and drag. Now of course, um, see, you have the one black box and three boxes like this. So you're going to shift and click on the boxes like this. Okay, now you see these will move together. So since we've got, we'll fix this up a bit. This has gone skewer ways. Okay, so got this fixed. We can shift, shift click, and shift click. Now this can move freely. Okay, and of course we're going to keep moving up our timeline and continue this process. I'll speed it up in editing, just so it's not very long. So uh, yeah, just continue doing this, and. Um, I'll stop again in the middle and just show you the ending also. Alright guys, so as you see here, this car moves out of the frame so we no longer need the mask. So we're going to move up here and when it comes to here we're going to select the anchor deletion tool and we're going to simply click on one of the points and it will delete the mask so here we see it comes like this so far we've got this mask up to here moving along here and then it stops here as it comes out of frame so however we see as this turns around it comes back into frame so what we need to do is, of course, select the Anchor Creation Tool and continue what we were doing earlier. Okay, so guys, um, that is that done. However, we're not done. If you come out here, what you'll see is nothing. Okay, it looks completely normal. Um, so what we need to do is, of course, we did the masking on the top video track. So we're going to scroll down in our video effects tab until we find the Gaussian blur. 
Now we're going to select the extreme blur from the presets and drag it onto the top clip. Now what we're going to do is put it down here to maybe 0 0.033 and we're going to copy that value into the um, bar below and as you can see it uh, it blurs out what is up here obviously you can uh, fiddle around with these settings to find what is best for you if you want it blurred in a specific um, horizontal or vertical range of course you can change that up to your liking um, whichever way you like and um, obviously you see there at the edge the mask uh, just covered the license plate however when you blur it it doesn't blur out the whole license plate so be caref careful of that and spend more time on yours. You can see here that as it zooms up here and then it comes over here and of course here we go again the license plates are blurred. It's a fantastic feature to be able to do of course if you want to see what it's like without it you simply come up here to the mute button on the video track and click mute and you can see the difference. If you're having any problems guys please feel free to drop a comment and uh, I'll try and reply to you. Also. Uh, send me a message, I'll also reply to that. Um, you can find our Twitter and Facebook links in the underbar if you're interested. More videos on the way, more Sony Vegas tutorials. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Mark. Hope you enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.